Tonight's Weber's theory of symbolic interactionism outlines the ways in which we interpret our social contexts. It contains three postulates. Number one, a human being acts towards things and within social circumstances on the basis of what those things and situations mean for it. Here, we can observe a male specimen attempting to course his trajectory to reach a gathering of humans they refer to as Harvey. The specimen, while in peak physical condition and psychologically undamaged, will unwittingly display the first postulate of Max Weber's symbolic interactionism theory. Note the automatic reflex to consult with its communications apparatus, not to communicate a query, but to attempt to solve its problem individually. The specimen is now lost. Let us observe how he reacts to the circumstance. A fascinating solitary attempt to socialize. Coming from the east, we can notice another human approaching the specimen. Observe its social instinct to come to immediate aid. Hey, do you need directions? And at this precise moment, we can witness the effect of symbolic interactionism at work. When the specimen suddenly becomes agitated, his pupils become dilated, cold sweats begin to form, and adrenaline is now pumping through his body. The defensive animal instinct is now kicking in. Because of previous personal experiences in similar circumstances, the specimen no longer reacts rationally to it. He is now dominated by its conditioning and must act accordingly, in this case, standing its ground against the perceived predator. No, I'm fine. I'm just checking my flap chats. Oh, gross. Um, are you sure you don't need any directions? You look pretty lost. Absolutely not. I'm fine. Don't you have some place to be? Whoa, sorry. I was just trying to be helpful. The perceived predator has been dismissed and is now retreating in confusion. Watch as she attempts to leave quietly without alarming the specimen. With this demonstration of anger, the specimen has won this round. The specimen will continue to dissuade its fellow human from interacting with it further by covering its ears with pieces of plastic meant to symbolize isolation. It will remain there until the apparatus succeeds or it will perish in the attempt. Unbeknownst to the specimen, the apparatus is no longer searching for the trajectory and is experiencing what humans refer to as technical difficulties. Now, let us step back in time to observe how this fascinating creature was so specific. Number two, the meaning of human beings' actions within social contexts are derived from previous interactions it has with others. Observe the specimen as he wanders within his trajectory, aiming to join the rest of his herd at a social gathering. The human is beginning to become aware of its disorientation and grows anxious with the anticipation of joining the group. His sense of unease grows quickly as he looks at his timepiece and his pace quickens. The specimen needs to clarify his group and will attempt to consult with another of its kind. He finds solace in the presence of another of his kind and prepares to ask her if she could direct him to his destination. The perceived predator is clearly in no mood to banter. Dude, there is a sign right here! The specimen has suffered severe confidence loss and will now retreat into solitude in a desperate attempt to recover. The predator has won this standoff. This interaction, although quickly forgotten in the conscious mind, will become heavily integrated in the behavioral patterns of the specimen. This is not to say the patterns cannot be altered. Let us now return to the present and observe how these forms of modulation may occur. Number three, the meaning that human beings attach to these circumstances are mutable and can be continuously changed by the individuals involved. What? <laughs> Is this completely unexpected turn of events. All my years of narration of the facility have never witnessed such footage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is history in the making. Let's watch. The specimen will now either perish or improvise behavior to survive. The specimen has located a peer. Will he engage it with the risk of further humiliation? Uh, can you help me find Malcolm Hall? Wow, the specimen has overcome the conditioning and is improvising to survive. How will the counterbalance react? Sure, I can. So first you 
you go right up the Shiver Building and then left to the Banal Building and then you go straight up the stairs and then you're right there. In fact, I'm heading there right now if you'd like me to take you. The specimen's conditioning is undergoing a massive change at the moment and just possibly rewriting the behaviour of future circumstances. Today, we have witnessed a truly remarkable transformation of the human, seen through Weber's symbolic interaction as in theory. We saw the human act towards social circumstances based on what those situations meant for him, and saw how previous interactions had shaped him. Then, we noticed how he acted in that situation, and finally, we saw how the meanings of these actions can be changed by the individuals involved.